Hello, what's up you guys? Welcome to your Wednesday workout. Kara Leota here. I'm just here a few minutes early as always to uh, get us started. So hey guys, welcome on in. I'm just gonna get us going down at the bottom of the screen. Hi everybody, you guys are so punctual. Joanna, wow, you're speedy. Jojo. All right, you guys, give me just one second here to get situated. I'm uh, putting my handle down at the bottom of the screen as well as my website. But hey everybody. All right, I think we're good already. Okay, hey guys, Kara Leota here. Um, I'm a trainer in New York City. I have been here for quite a bit now, leading you through these 12 p.m. Eastern Time workouts. So welcome, today we're doing total body sculpt and you do not need any equipment. It's gonna be a 25 minute workout. And as always, it's gonna be saved on Women's Health's IG. Uh, so if you wanna do it again, you are welcome to do it again because it will be up for 24 hours. Hey guys, wow Jojo, good luck with that workout. So we've got a little bit, a lot of a little bit in store for today. We're doing, we got shoulders, we've got triceps, we've got a nice leg and glute section and of course core. So as total body as we can possibly get with no equipment, so it's body weight only. Um, and it's 25 minutes, so that's kind of the deal. So welcome on in everybody. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Kara Leota and welcome, welcome, welcome. So we still have a little bit of time. Hi Italy. Hey guys. So welcome on in. Oh wow, someone's in Manhattan, hello. You're just across the river. Hey guys, so excited to be here as always. We are getting ready for our 12 p.m. Um, sculpt workout. So my name is Kara Leota and I'm the co-founder of KK Sweat and that is where you can find longer versions of the workout that I'm gonna be showing you today. Um, so down at the bottom you'll see I have pinned my personal handle and I have also pinned my website, kksweat.com. So please check it out and you can join me there for a longer duration workouts if you would like. But otherwise, hi France, I will be here. Hi LA, hey guys, hi Queens. So it looks like we're coming in from all over the place today. So welcome Prague. So a little bit about me, I'm in Brooklyn you guys. So um, I am in, Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, bringing you today's workout. And uh, hi, San Fran. And it is, boom, 12 o'clock on the dot, so I wanna get us started. If you are just tuning in, welcome, welcome. Love to have you. Thank you so much for joining me. We got 25 minutes of total body sculpt today, and we are not using any equipment. So it's a 25 minute total body burnout. Lots of reps. Please take breaks anytime you guys need. And we're gonna get it started. Hello, Upper East Side, I see you. And uh, it's time. All right, let's have a great workout, guys. Let's bring us Workout Wednesday. Here we go, fam. I see you, Sarah, hello. All right, we're gonna start with some mobility for our warm-up, as always. Be nice and gentle on your body. Get things loose and warm and ready to go. And then we're gonna add some shoulders and legs into the first part of the warm-up pretty much right away. So let's start. Here we go, guys. All right, I wanna start with our feet really nice and wide outside of our hips. And then just allow your knees to bend a little bit. All right, guys, roll your shoulders up, around, and back. Let's think about how we can stand and lift up out of our hips and back. And we're gonna take a nice big arm circle. So reach your arms up and open through your chest, really stretch out, and then tip down. And you can choose to bend your knees if you'd like. With a really flat spine, let's bring it all the way up to stand. Okay, so it goes open. Tap, knee bend, flip, pretty simple. So it's a nice big circle through your chest. Let your fingertips lead the way to reach to the ground and then allow your knees to bend. From right here, I want you to think biceps by your ears to pull up. It's kind of like you're coming up out of a deadlift. Down and open. So we're just kind of going a little bit faster here. And we breathe, let's go Wednesday. Tap it down, long, flat spine. I'll give you a little profile view here. Sweep it up. So you feel your hamstrings fire up right away. And if you can't touch the round, no worries. Just bend your knees a little bit. So we'll get that little hinge pattern going in our hips. Tap. And pull three more here, guys. Tap it. Let your hamstrings stretch. Pull up and back. Let's go, Emily. Two more. And pull last one. Last one. All right, just let your arms cross and open. It's super simple. You're just kind of wrapping like heavy ropes and I'm alternating my arms. So I'm just switching. Cross open, nice and simple, through your shoulders. All right, let's rock, relax our shoulders. Let's kind of soften things up. I want you to give me four more here. Four. We got three more. Here's two. Now let's take a big side bend and start to reach, alternating. So side to side. 
Push. Okay, guys, now make sure your hands are in front of your face, in front of your head. So that's going to correct your shoulder alignment. It's going to help you to really use your obliques and get out of your neck and shoulders. Yep. Push. All right, Wednesday, let's go. I'm going to give us eight more here to get into our bodies. Let's do it, guys. Eight. We got six. We'll turn our toes out. We'll start to drop into a little sumo squat in three, two, one, drop. Okay, I'm gonna break it down for you, don't worry. Turn your toes wider, and then we sit our hips down and back. Drop, push, drop, push. Okay, it's time to work down into our lower body. I told you we're gonna spend, you know, about 90 seconds, two minutes in mobility, and then we're pretty much just starting today, guys. I know I can push you, you guys keep coming back, so let's do it. Drop. Try to not let your chest fall down on the bottom of that squat. We're gonna externally rotate, which means I want you to open up your knees. So aim your knee over your middle toe. Drop, push, seven, six. If you were just tuning in, come on in and join me. We just started the warm up. We got two more here. All right, let's do a curtsy lunge. You can reset, just start to cross one leg back over and over. So hips are under your shoulders. Now, let's add our arms. So I want you to close, close. So I'll give you a little rotation here. Cross, so see I'm just doing one leg, I'm reaching back. I want you to get down into your legs with your hips, staying right underneath your shoulders, and then really energize your arms. Seven, six. All right, let's go, Shirley, we got four more, we'll switch sides. Three, two, Switch it up, let's go on the side. Curtsy. So we're getting that little cross back. Guys, I will say, even though this is equipment free, if you have light weights, so you want to add some resistance, go for it. Amp it up. Cross. Cross. So try to keep your hips aligned right under your shoulders. We're going to do eight more here. Let's go, guys. Eight. Cross seven. So you're working on that range of motion while keeping your chest up. Four more here. Three, two. All right, let's go back to that sumo squat. Hold your arms, turn your toes out, and let's just take a little pulse. Now flip your palms and give you a little pull back, really lifting your elbows. Tap. So now you're gonna have your chest more lifted, more upright. Dig down into your hips, your legs, and let's do it. Tap. All right, you guys, so we've got eight here. Sit down low, let's do it, push it. Eight, side plank on that. I'm gonna push these transition, guys. We're going right down, side plank, right side, in four, three, two, and one. Congratulations, you made it through the warm up. All right, let's rock and roll. Come on to your right side, and let's lift it on up and hold. So stack and align your, your shoulders and your hips. Now extend your top left arm nice and high. You can modify this here if you would like. We'll take it onto our shins. Open your chest. If you're good in eight little reps here, I'm gonna give us a kick through with our bottom leg. I'll show you. You pull in, tap, looks like this. So make sure you're picking up your leg as close to the floor. Where do you feel this? In your obliques. So a little advanced option here. If it's tripping you up, don't worry about it. Give me a little hip raise. Pump. Now we have to focus on really anchoring down and pulling our bottom shoulder away from us. So your neck is nice and long here, and you're just pulling for your bottom leg. Woo! Good thing this one's not too long, but I want to keep your shoulders working. I want to try to work as many joints as we can. Little tap and pull. Oh yeah, we got your beats, we got your jams. Let's go, eight reps right here, little tap. Pull, seven. So try to keep your chest open so you don't end up kind of rattling or falling forward. I just want four, we'll shake it outside too. Three, two, and switch it. I know it's a good song, right? That's why you guys want to turn it up. All right, let's reset, hold. You're on your second side, now pull your left shoulder down. You gotta take your top hip, roll it forward a little. You can take a little hip lift, or you're giving me the same option on the second side. Tap, tap. So your body 
body's gonna come forward a little bit, of course, but you don't wanna feel like your chest hunches or rounds when you're trying to tap your leg. If it feels too much, scale it down, give me a hip raise. So we feel our obliques. We're gonna work around the sides of our core in this one. Yeah! Okay, Wednesday, I think we're off to a good start here. Tap, pull, tap, pull, tap. Align your hips, see if you can pull up out of your bottom side. Make a lot of space in your neck. We're nearly done with the second side, and then we're gonna fire up our legs again. Pull, tap, tap. All right, I wanna do eight reps from right now, here we go. Eight, reach, seven. Let's push each other, guys. Let's go, Brazil. Give me four more here. Go four. Bam. Three. Two. And woo! All right, I trust that you guys are feeling warm. Let's go. We're going to start to work our legs. So we're starting with a squat. Stand it up. Let's have our right leg be our working leg first. So in this series, we'll roll our shoulders back. We're going to keep our right leg planted. Don't move your right leg. We'll pick our left leg up. It looks like this. Slow squat, and then I'm lifting my left leg up. Slow squat, left leg up. So I'm trying to feel my abductor at the outside of my leg here, kind of pull and stabilize me so I don't fall over. Ideally, I won't fall over for you. Drop, drop, push. All right, guys, feel free to keep this nice little pace, but if you can amp it up, I want to pick it up right here so it goes down, push, drop. So this is our working leg. It's the bottom right leg, the one that's on the floor. We're pushing down. Drop. Drop. All right, Emily Ho, I know you're doing this one. Let's do it, guys. Little drop, push. It does not have to be high. We're just kind of feeling our balance, our stability in the right leg. You have eight. Seven, we transition. Six, let's pull our shoulders back. Five, let's go, Robin. Four more, drop. Woo. Three, we're gonna hold it, Natalie. Two. All right, let's take a pause right here. Reset. Bend your right leg. Pull your shoulders back. Now take your left leg and you're gonna cross it. Cross it. Open it. Cross. So see how my right leg didn't move. That's still my standing working leg. So you can get a lot of angles here. Cross. Open. Cross. So I want you to really bend through your right leg. That's important. And try to lift your toes up a little bit. Woo! Tap. Cross. So you're going to feel your glutes fire up the back of your right leg. Let's get lower together. Let's go Wednesday. Cross. Cross. Now a little check into our shoulders, into our back. Open it up. All right, we're not doing that much longer. This is the last bit standing. And then we're going to come down to the ground for the next two moves of the series. So I'm going to encourage you to bend your right leg. Bend it, bend it. Push the floor down. Weight is in your heel, not in your toes. Let's go. Woo. Come on, Heather Gavlon. We got eight more here. We take it down. Work. Eight. We got six. We're coming on down, guys. In four. Three. Two. Come on to your left knee. Left knee. Because I want our right leg to keep working. So I'm on my left hand. I'm going to take my right leg, same leg, and pull it up right in front of me. So see how my knee is pretty close to my chest. Right hand on the hip. Now bend your leg a teeny bit and I want you to tap and lift. Woo! Okay. You should feel this very, very differently in your abductors, the outside of your glutes. Chest open. Not like a side plank. Take your time with it. And what I want us to detail is that our knee doesn't face down to the floor. See that? I want you to use your outer glutes and give me a little extra. See how I just floated my knee up? So pull it up, tap and lift. Woo! So it's a very slight bend. And bring your knee up closer to your chest. Oh yeah, guys! Woo! Hello, Amanda. Amanda Page and your mom. I think your mom's name is Lisa, but I might need you to confirm that for me. Because I gotta give mom a proper shout out today. I think you told me it was Lisa. Woo! We got eight more reps, guys. Let's do it. Lightly tap. Control it. Give me seven. So the last shape, you're welcome, we're going to lay down. You're going to be on your back. I want your right foot down on the floor. It's a single leg raise. Let's go, Vanessa. Four, three, two, oh. Stay 
chain leg. Okay, put your right foot down. Roll your hips three inches up, not very high. And we're in a single leg bridge. On the turn, so you can see a little better. Right foot down. So that's important because you keep the work, that overload, that muscle fatigue in one side. Now let's relax our upper body. So push down into the floor. Feel your heels. Got to be a lot of weight in your heel. Your other leg is pretty much chilling, to be honest. And if it's too much, then maybe you put your left foot down so you have two feet on the floor, ideally. All right, open up your chest. Hi, Liz Ferrelli. Welcome, I love that you're here. All right, if you guys want a little bit more, lift your right toes up. We have 20 seconds out. Let's push each other, push each other. Come on, 15 seconds, go. Small. Details. You are lifting just your lower hips and back. Drive in the floor, drill a hole, let's go. Eight. Yeah, six. You got four reps, three reps, two, one, relax. Man, okay guys, let your knees kind of shake out side to side. Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. We're gonna stand it up though. Now we're gonna do the other side. How are we doing, a little check? All right, you guys, let's do it. So if you're just joining me, we're starting the second side of our sequence right now. I wanna take it to a nice wide squat. Change the legs, just make sure you're on your other side. Let's go slowly down for two, let's get it situated. We go drop, drop, and then opposite leg pulls out, but it's not really a big deal. It's just to find balance on our stabilizing lift. Woo! Sit and push. So hi, Casey. Casey McBride and your West Coast crew. Hey, all the West Coast friends. Sit, sit. Push, lift up, lift up, lift up, sit. Okay, if you're ready to go, let's do it. Let's push the tempo, it's drop. Now I'll say you guys, I like to give options. You don't have to be ready to go. You can go slowly, right? The main thing is your form, it's a form-based workout. Well, every workout is a form-based workout, but especially this one, because there's so many nuances, there's a lot of details. So if your form will be better at a slower pace, that's what you should do. Woo, ha, sit. Push. Now let's focus on our squats. Our chest staying lifted. We drop, push. Let's do eight more. Yeah. Come on, Amanda. Drop. We got four and we take a hold. Four, push. Nice, Sarah and Matthew. Two more. We're gonna hold for a second, guys. Bend your left leg, push your ribs back, and give me the little cross. So the leg goes kicking out. My right leg is still my free leg. There's no weight on it. Cross, open, cross. That's right guys, bring you the jams today. Pull your shoulders back, let's work. Bam, tap, ha. Isn't it amazing that wherever you are in the world, we can all do this workout together? Yes. So let's use that energy, let's use that community and work a little harder. Sit it on down. Your spine is super long. I want your weight in your bottom. Left heel. So here's a challenge. If you can lift your toes up a little bit, hi Jamie. Lift your toes. Drill down with your left heel. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Let's do it. Come on. It's a cross. We're in the last few reps of the shape. Ha. Put your shoulders onto your back. I really want to do this together. I want eight excellent reps. Eight. Seven. Excellent. Not even kind of good. Literally excellent. Chest up, bend your supporting leg. Four more, we hit the, the ground. Three more, we hit the ground. Two more, Arkansas. One more, reset, okay. Right hand, right knee. So we're gonna do the opposite so your same working leg can be consistent. Let's break her down. Open your chest. Slightly bend your knee. It's not in here, it's not straight. It's a soft bend and it's close. So drive your knee toward your chest. And we're gonna take a little tap and lift. Wow, Erica Larson, you didn't get enough this morning. You're back for more? Look at you, little overachiever, Erica. Oh, tap it, lift. Okay, slightly bend. You can always shake out. Okay, it's a lot of reps, I get it. You believe how hard it is to do a body weight workout, right? Chest open. So you do not want your top shoulder to kind of collapse forward like this. And if your wrists are bothering you, come down to your forearm. Pretty much the same deal, looks like this. Tap, lift. So if you just like that better, go for it. 
for it. All right, we're getting ready to transition. Eight reps, lift your knee. It's eight. Resist gravity, seven, six. So guys, fire up your core, it's gonna help you. We are shifting, single leg bridge, left leg continues in four, three, two, oh. Why is that one so hard? Reset, make sure you keep your same left foot down or whichever foot, it's gotta stay consistent. Relax your other leg, it's a couple inches off the floor. And we're going into the final shape, glute break pulse, let's do it. Small, small, okay. Okay, if you guys take a lot of yoga, or even if you don't, this is different from a yoga bridge. I don't want you to arch your back and be in this massive expression, getting as much of your back off the floor as possible. I actually want to fine tune it and pull back, okay? So round your tailbone under, just lift your belly button up. Okay, if you need to, you put your right foot down. But if you don't need to, it's less than 30 seconds, I'm gonna join you, come on. Final little booty burnout, let's go. I want you guys to tell me how sore you are tomorrow, so we need to put the work in right now, 10 seconds. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees in, shake it out. Okay, can't even believe it. We're gonna do triceps, we've got some core, and that's the last song, guys, so we're gonna crush this. So let's start in a tricep dip, so I wanna break this down. We're down on the mat, turn your fingers, bam, forward, as in the way you're looking, so will not be long. All right, chest open, let's go, bend your arms. Ooh, Casey's gonna like this song. Casey's gonna like it, drop. Dip. Triceps, running along the backs of your arms. I wanna get a little burn there, that special spot running along the back here. So we have to open our chest and lower your hips. It's not a glute bridge, we already did that. Check it off the list. You have to bend your elbows. Woo! All right, eight more, Sarah. I see you, Sarah. Hello, Holly, you're burning. Yeah, let's go. Okay, we have a fancy pants move on deck. We're gonna add a little cross tap. If it's too much, just delete me, it's fine. Looks like this, opposite hand to foot. One dip, one tap. Dip, tap, dip. Okay, Matthew, I'm thinking about you. Matthew, pace for Sarah right now, because I know that Sarah's doing it. Drop, drop, drop. If it's too much, skip the tap. Dip, tap. All right, guys. We've got eight more reps on to abs. Work, eight, seven, ha. Woo, let's go four more right here. Dip, we got three. Guess what, you lay down in two. One, ha, hands on your head, breathe. Okay, curl your head, neck, your shoulders. And let's lift our legs. It's like a hollow body hold. Except I want your hands behind your head. Shake your neck out, let your knees bend, hold. Okay, let's reset. Soft legs, so soften your quads. Turn your knees away from each other. If it's too much with your head up, just rest it down. Otherwise, we'll start to extend our legs. A little push, pull. I love core work. I love to finish a workout with core work. My opinion, there's nothing better than getting that really nice burn through your abdominal wall right at the end of your workout. So let's get it together. Let's go. Pushing out, in, reach. You might need to have your legs higher than me if that helps you to keep your back on the floor. All right, let's do four more and then we're gonna come off the beat. We'll put our feet down on a little Half, sit up. Three, two, it looks like this. Roll, roll. Do you see how I'm getting my lower back? Let's turn. My lower back is off the floor. Roll it. Woo! You can also go like this. Beat drop, let's go. Bam! Let that give you a little surge of energy. So feet on the floor, you gotta get your lower back up. It's a little roll, resist, pull. Ah! I love 25 minutes too, it's like so speedy. Come on, even if you just tuned into this live, you can do it right now. We still got like a minute and a half. Join me, come on down to the floor, let's go. Yes, I want eight reps, open your elbows. Let's go, we got eight, seven, six, five, four more. Get ready to hold, finishing with a hollow hold, in four, three, Okay, let's find our 
best form. Extend your legs. Your hands can be behind your head. Your arms can be stretched out. Obviously, it's more advanced to lengthen your arms. Your shoulders are up. Your legs are up. Hello, pull it. Thanks for joining me, guys. About 15 seconds. Pull it. Come on, Rain. Open your collarbone. Shake your head out. Eight seconds, guys. Do it. Eight, seven, six, five. Strong four. Strong three. Two, one. Crushed it, fam. Okay. We're going to cool it on down. <sighs> Let your knees fall to the side. Ooh, looks like a little side bend. Just sit. Oh, guys, that was so good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We've got some good energy today. Reach your arm up and over, stretch out your obliques. Oh. And then swap it, other side. Thank you guys so much, all of you who keep coming back. I appreciate you. And if today was your first day clicking on Women's Health Instagram Live, I really appreciate that you gave me a chance and you joined in for my workout today. So thank you so much. Let's take a downward facing dog to really stretch out the backs of our legs. So essentially your feet are about hip width apart, as are your hands, about shoulder width. And then just lengthen out. You want to look like you're in like a V shape. Hips nice and high. Relax your head on the inside of your arms. And then feel that stretch running along the backs of your legs. Let's take a little step forward. Bend your knees, allow your spine to really round here, guys. Let's take our time to come up. And let's roll our shoulders out. Just three times, nice and easy. Let's get rid of that tension that we can uh, tend to be like this a lot these days. So just roll your shoulders up, around, and back. Three, and two. Squeeze and release them one more time. Big inhale, guys, arms up. Exhale, let it go, and that is our workout for today. I wanna to give you guys a high five because I'm feeling that energy today. Hands up, this is what we do guys. So if you're new, join me, virtual high five in three, two, and one. Pleasure as always. Thank you for crushing it, Louise. Guys, so, so good, thank you so much. I love that. Woo, yeah, tune in later, guys. It's gonna be up for 24 hours. So of course it will be saved. And I'm gonna be back here on Friday. I'm doing a super chill stretch using some pillows. So some nice ways to release your lower back. So I will be back here Friday at 12. So same time, same place. I'll see you guys later. Have an awesome rest of your day. You're so welcome. Later, guys.